with this kind of solution, it's very easy to integrate the treatment facility uh, into the urban fabric. What we will see in the next few slides is examples uh, for that. And of course, urban integration means that you don't have to pump the water away from the cities. It can be reused inside the city and thereby saving tremendous infrastructure cost as well as operational cost. This example is in China. You can see the residential towers on the, in the back and right next to it, there it is, the treatment plant. From the other side of the street, you can see that there are office buildings with the uh, necessary restaurants downstairs and the treatment plant on the right hand side. In the back side, there is a basketball court fits very nicely with the treatment plant next, next door. These are the interior pictures. Or this is a development in the middle of a, of a large city. It's actually in, in Shenzhen, uh, China, where in a city block, the, as you can see, there are residential towers, office towers, and in the middle of the development, there is a multi-level uh, semi-open mall with all the fancy stores left and right. And if you close up, you see that in the middle, there is a tiny little greenhouse because the developer was very eager to do this in a sustainable way. And all the water that's used in this development is being treated right on the site in the middle of the mall so that the water can be reused inside that city block. And you can see it's like a little jewel. It enhances the development. The next example is on a tropical island in, uh, on Hainan Island in southern China. And you can see th this is a resort and the treatment plant is in the middle of the traffic circle. Here you can see the plant, the organic plant during construction on the right hand side. You can make out this little building which is the stairs going down to the mechanical room. And here is the treatment plant with the plants on top in the traffic circle with the residential trowels looking directly down to the traffic circle which is treating all the water so it can be reused for uh, irrigation. Or this example is in a fancy villa park in India. You have to imagine fancy villas to the left and uh, houses to the right. And this in the corner treats the water for about a thousand cubic meters. But again, this allows a very different level of urban integration. Well, the next example is a larger capacity, 45,000 cubic meters a day capacity plant. Uh, this is to, for one of the largest industrial and logistical parks in Indonesia. The entire plant is occupying about 10,000 square meters, which for the capacity is a very small footprint. And immediately next door, high value real estate is being sold to the largest uh, Japanese companies. In the pictures, you can see the, the entrance area to the treatment plant. And this is a very good example to show you that in climates where the greenhouse is not necessary, where the temperature doesn't drop below 10 degrees centigrade, uh, the plants are protected by shading structures. So the next example is in China, in Shandong province, directly on the beach. What you see on the right hand side is the visitor center, and you can see the treatment plant blends into the environment very nicely.